Okay, so uh, on the topic of being surveilled, right? There's two. There's two theories to this. No, not really theories. There's two facts. Okay, America itself is being targeted, right? America's targeted by Russia, China, right? Uh, and uh, Korea, right? And that we know of. So America as a whole is being targeted. Now, they all work together. They're all a collective. But those countries are definitely targeting America. America isn't powerful. America is actually one of the weakest countries out here. I mean, you can look at the currency, and, and you can look at the dollar and how it's worth nothing. So what am I saying? I'm saying that America then bullies everyone else, right? So, you know, they watch your post, man. They watch your mom. They watch your next-door neighbor. They watch your perps. Everyone is watched, right? The difference between them watching them and them watching us is dramatic, they're watching them as far as maintaining them. They're These people on strings, like the people who follow us around, your neighbors, they're on strings. They're on puppet strings. So they're maintained and controlled daily. They couldn't get to us, okay? Spiritually, physically, intellectually, they, they couldn't get to us. And they knew this, okay? So they, they knew that we are like the problems, because we, we we cannot be manipulated. You can't put us on a string. You can't put us, you know, on a rope. You we're not dancing monkeys. We we don't tap dance. We don't we're not yes massa, no massa. You know what I mean? There's no massa to us. They know that we are multimillionaires by by birth, by certificate, by blood, billionaires, right? So that frustrates them. I don't know if you know, but when you're born, everyone's birth certificate is traded on the stock market uh, based on your potential. Or it's based on your opportunities in life. So the more they can manipulate you, the more opportunities you'll get. The less they can manipulate you, the less opportunities you can get because it's all about control. So we're expensive. We're, we're, like it says, we're diamonds, right? Precious in the sight of the most high. It says a, a, a camera that sits on a hill can't be hit, right? And the reason why is because they want to be able to use us against the most high. It is not so. It is written. So back to what I was saying. The whole form of control is these people who are on puppet strings, literally, right? They know that if they move the wrong way, they say something wrong, it's all over. The fear is that they are not divinely protected. They don't have any protection from the creator because of their allegiance, because they conform, because they're inclusionist, right? Because they've sold their soul for silver, right? So therefore, they have to, well, it's not a have to, they don't really have a choice but to be puppets because they, they they wouldn't be able to survive the ordeal that we go through, right? So you have spiritual targets, and you have targets that are just whistleblowers and, and, and what have you, right? Truth, truth tellers, truth seekers. This this is separate. I'm not trying to any offend one, but majority of the indigenous, cause, or you want to call black, swarthy, are because there's a higher purpose for us, right? Those who you see that are of other races are part of the 10% that the Most High speaks of that will be ushered in as a part of the 144,000. The black people, the Coons, Uncle Tom's, that are around us are two thirds. They they're not going to make it in. I mean, most high speaks about how everyone's not. Gonna, they're not. They're not going to make it in. You know, they they try to make America seem like it's a VIP club. This is not the VIP club. There's no very important people 
in America at all. There's not. There's no. The, America is not a VIP. It's not a place to be, right? Uh, th- there's nothing special about America. You know, the, that's the narrative. Example, they tell you uh, the American dream. Well, the only time I know someone can dream is when they're in a daze or physically sleep. So what America is saying is keep hope alive. Chase an illusion, right? And if you want to know what the illusion entails, it entails you having to compromise morals and integrity, right? So that's really what it comes down to. It comes down to are you willing to throw people under the bus, sacrifice your soul to to live, to even live, to have a home, a decent job, and a car? That's what America's about. America's about control and then freedom. So if you allow us to control you, then you can have freedom to have a job, to basically live. To, you, that's basically what, the, what they're saying in a nutshell. They're saying, well, look, if you don't want to be a part of the the the, the group, the clan, well then you, you this is what happens to you. And people don't want to you know, they, they can't. They they can't see out of their little jobs, their offices, you know, their organizations, so on and so forth. They can't see beyond that. I that's why people around you stay home because in you know, they watch they don't have any vision. They don't have any vision. They don't. I don't believe in dreams. They don't have visions, ambitions, or goals. They don't because you can't tell me. I've never been followed by anyone in a Bentley, a Rolls Royce. I've never been followed by anyone in a Bugatti. I've never been followed in a Ferrari. I have been followed in average vehicles. Right. I've never been followed by somebody wearing Gucci head to toe, Louis Vuitton. Not to say any of this matters. I'm just giving you perspective of the type of people that they use. Bottom feeders. Bottom feeders. They have to use, and that's why they use minorities. And the crazy thing about it is, it's unfortunate that black people will take a sip of water, right? And think that it's a whole cup. You know, so they know black people will, Black, let me tell you something. Black people have been selling out for years. Black, <laughs> black people can't complain about why they don't have anything because they don't have anything because it's on them. When you sell out for change, you can't then go back and ask for dollars. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Black people do not control anything in this world. They don't have banks, hospitals, schools, high, uh, 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 um, uh they don't have law enforcement. There's no black law enforcement. There's no black schools, no HBCU. Do your history on Spelman and Howard and see who really, see who those schools were named after, elitist. So black people don't have any power. So when they throw black people a bone, they're going to take it. <laughs> they're going to take that bone and they're going to take scraps because that's what black people are used to. We, we don't, we, us targeted, we don't operate in, we are classy. We don't operate in scraps. We don't take what's we don't take the first opinion. We don't take the first estimate. Okay, we don't take just you don't you can't throw anything at us. Okay, we don't just we you can't just tell us anything and we're gonna believe it. That's not how we operate. That's not how we're designed. It's not in our DNA. It just would never be. Black people and when I say black people, I'm talking about the two thirds. They'll take scraps. That's what they used to. Chitlins, hog malls, intestines. Scraps from a pig. Okay, so I mean, I, I'm not making any lies here. Okay, so we know that black people are used to scraps. And then so what they do is they think because they can turn scraps into uh, uh, food, they call it a delicacy. That's not, scraps are, will never be a delicacy. Scraps are scraps. Okay, you can't turn shit into, uh, and, into gold. You can't do it. Shit is shit. Plain and simple. And so we're dealing with, or we're dealing with shitty people acting gold. They're five carat gold. They're, they're walking around and plated. They're, okay, so that's where they get this arrogance from, this hottie. It's not even off of them. Like, it's, it's like, it's not self-esteem. It's not 
value. They, they get it off of what they've been allowed to do. They've been allowed something, and that's where they get their arrogance from. It's false. It's, we, we, get, we get our air about us because it's who we are. It, it's in our DNA. It's, our, it's, it's us. It's in us. So you know how I say it's not on you, it's in you? It's in us. It's on them. They wash it off. They have to wash it off every day, and then they get a new assignment, and they put it on. It's a costume. It's not a costume for us. You can't wash what we have off, okay? And you wouldn't want to. So understand that the reason why they seek your attention for a reason. No one's seeking their attention. No one knows who these people are. They go home to little miserable lives. They have their little Facebook following, Instagram, and that's it. That's it. People know us, and we haven't even met them. Okay, so you understand, that's why they, you know, I mean, people don't seek attention from nobodies. That's what it is. You have to look at the narrative. They want to make it seem like, oh, we're poking at you. No, no, you're just curious. You're just curious. You want to know about us because we're different. That's it. They study. You, you, you've never seen a, a scientist study something with no value. Every scientist I've ever heard study something had value and they were intrigued, right? There was a purpose. There was a method to the madness. Nobody's studying them. No one knows who they are. When they die, they'll be six feet under. They'll go to their, uh, they won't be resting. There's no resting place for these people. And then they'll pay for the things they did here on earth. A lot of them will pay for their children, their grandchildren. And, and, and you know, that's why black people as a whole are cursed for so many years because black people have been repeating a cycle of de- witchcraft, uh, demonic worship, selling out, chucking and jiving. And they, they don't even think about it, bro. Like, people only think about the now. Black people are so small-minded. When I say black, two-thirds. I'm not talking about targeted individuals. They don't think about the repercussions. Like, okay, you may live your life in your Honda, and you may drive on to the sunset, but you, you there's going to be people after you. Your whole family's fucked. Their whole family's a part of this program. Okay, these people are being watched more than us because the government spirits, the demons, are, are waiting to see if they're going to fold. Like, they have to fold, too. There's a folding here. Trust me. They want us to fold, but the people who fought, they can't fold. They they want to see what they're talking about. If they're getting weary, if they're questioning, you know what I mean. That's that. So these people are monitored more than us. Trust me, they're monitored. Their cars are tapped. There, there's trust me. They have handlers at their job. These people who follow us, who have jobs in their churches and their organizations, they have handlers who they know and who they don't know. <laughs> 